Hello everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you? This is the Taryn Lamp Show, episode number 55. I cannot believe it. I say that every episode, that I can't believe it, because I can't believe it. This is episode number 55 of the Taryn Lamp Show, where we speak to every week, Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, everyday people just like you with amazing stories. So if you have a story, and we know you do, make sure you get in contact with me. I want you here on the show. If you know someone who has a story, hook it up. I want them on the show as well. Make sure you're checking out the uh, my YouTube channel. If you want to see prior episodes, you can also check out my IGTV for prior episodes. And everybody that comes on the show also gets a link and a copy of the, the video as well. So make sure you're checking out, uh, everyone that comes on the show, checking out their Insta, and make sure you're sharing these videos, inspirational videos, with those around you. It is so, I'm in my kitchen and it is like, ooh, heat. But you know what, I'm in Chicago so I'm not gonna complain about the heat. Alrighty, so we are going to get to Hello Winter. Philip. I see you are there. We are going to um, get right to our guest here. I can't wait to see him. I haven't seen him in so long. I would really love to see him in real life. So let's just see, Philip. Philip, 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 Philip. Hello. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you for joining us, Philip. Let's see. What happened, Philip? Where'd you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? Let's try it again. Send requests. Send requests. Philip, I sent you a request. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Welcome. No. How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm great. Uh, hugs, 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 hug, hug you back. Yes. I was like, can't wait to see you in real life. Hello, <laughs> it's been such a long time. It's been a minute, more like an hour, right? Right, a couple of hours. <laughs> a couple of hours, right. <laughs> Lisa's on here, she's giggling as I had us already. So I love this, hello. Hello, Lisa. <laughs> hey, Lisa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Lisa's the, Lisa, when she was sitting in my chair, she was actually giving me tidbits and things, what I should talk about and what, you know, what, what raises her eyebrow regarding me. Basically, a lot oh. of, yeah, and I was like, thank you. She's always been a help. She's always it, a great help. Yeah. It's always good to think about what someone else, how someone else sees you, you know, uh, uh -huh. like how someone else sees your greatness. Okay, I, I, I received that. Yes, I embrace it. Yeah. I, I give big hugs to that. Yeah. Great. Great. <laughs> so yeah. I was telling everybody, I, I promise you, I'm like not having a hot flash, but it is so hot in my kitchen right now. I always do the show for my kitchen. It's like on fire. But anywho, that's another story. Well, we're, um, out, of, we're out here in sunny California, and it's, and it's hot too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're, we're like, I'm not going to complain because we're always so cold. So now I'm just oh. trying to get all in. We're always like, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I think it started a half an hour, you know, goes by fast, especially yeah. when you're chatting it up. Mm -hmm. So I want everybody to, um, to hear a little bit. I know you have such an amazing journey. So, you know, and, and this COVID situation kind of took it to leaps and bounds, if you will. Yes, I so agree. Yes. You could just yes. kind of share with everyone, you, you know, your journey, a little bit about where you got where you're at and, and just start off with your journey. And what, oh, you know, okay. Well, shucks. Um, getting in trouble by drawing and sketching on my mom's walls, hallway walls as a kid. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. So, so after that, she ended up buying me scratch paper or sketch paper, sketch pads of the such. And then I would say in the fifth grade, they discovered that I was a creative. Mm -hmm. uh, my teacher, Ms. Hamilton, called her in and said, you need to see what this, what this son of yours is doing. I would actually challenge myself. Like let's say outside at recess, sitting on a bench, um, I would have the sketch pad there, and I would just try to time myself. And people were like, "Whoa!" You know, you know of course it was basic stuff like Pac-Man and Popeye and Mickey <laughs> Mouse, and 
you know, or Hercules and all that type of stuff. But it, it progressed to drawing cars. And then it progressed to progress into drawing people mm. and portraits and stuff. Um, what else? What else I could say? Um, playing with clay. Um, okay. I, I modeled or I molded these little action figures. And I'm quite sure Mattel or whoever saw saw them at the Children's Museum downtown when I was in the fifth grade. It was a write up in the newspaper regarding them. And then they became Star Wars action figures. I wonder where they got the idea from. Oh, hmm. hmm. Amazing. You know, sometimes you wonder sometimes, and like, okay, where's my residuals? <laughs> You're like, I had that somewhere before when I was five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, you know, um, growing up in high school and, you know, producing artwork for the uh, high school yearbook and things mm, of the okay. such. Um, what else? Uh, you know, now it's time to leave school. Okay, I'm going to work for Walt Disney. But guess what? Um, Cal Arts was a very highly expensive school. Mm. And my parents, they, they couldn't see it. See, there's a, there's a certain generation. They see arts and they see maybe, you know, arts. I'll just say mm. arts. As, as that's not an occupation. They don't classify mm -hmm. that as an occupation. So that from there, they discard it. Oh, no, 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 no. Just go to school and then take all your GEs. And when it's time to transfer, we'll think about it. When, okay. that, time, when that time came, it, beca it became, ooh, they dropped the ball. So I was mad. But uh, overall, I got some advice from my father. He says, well, you know, it's, ex it's expensive. So let's see if you could you know you used to cut everyone's hair on your on your street on your block i cut i used to cut everyone's hair in my neighborhood <laughs> later, on, later on my step my step pops he said that's that's bootlegging like what's bootlegging and then he told me bootlegging you know or he, he found something regarding bootlegging i said but these people they want a haircut from me and i read about it and upon bootlegging if you're found out or caught it sometimes it helps not helps it enables you for getting your license um, completely. Uh, okay. You know, it, it can become quite troublesome. So I'm like, you know, let's just, let's do the right thing. Let's just go on to school, beauty school. And I did. It's the best thing I could have. It's the best thing I could have done because from there, um, I got introduced to this place called Simply Raw. Simply Raw is our version of Vidal Sassoon out here in LA. Ask anyone that's, let's say, under 35. No, not under, over. Mm -hmm. Anyone anyone under 35 may not know of it. Mm -hmm. um, oh yes, oh my gosh. Oh yes, you needed to, you need a, you need a, you know, reservations yes. to, to have that. But no, we had our fair share of celebrities that come through, Denzel, uh, Luther. Um, during my time in the 90s, I was, I was blessed to take care of Tyra Banks during, during that time, the Tyra Bank years when she was mm -hmm. my and then get to go on the set of uh, Higher Learning, you know, see another old classmate of mine, Regina King, you know, um, it's a trip. And initially going to beauty school was for me to pay my own way to, uh, to art school, as well as some other things I used to do. I used to do extra work too, um, on the set of, uh, what is it, Different World and some other, other things. But as time, as time went on, I would do one client, five or six come back. I would do those five or six, now 10 or 12, 13, yeah. 14, 15. It just piled. And then I realized, you know what? This is my calling. Oh, my artwork in the background? Yes, I was going to say. I was going to say, do you want to show us anything? It's amazing. My artwork in the background? Let's do. Let's flip this. My artwork in the background, pretty much. Amazing. It's, it's my quiet time at the house after I listen. To, yeah. After I finish listening, playing uh <laughs> And Yana Van Zant fixed my life and Dr. Phil behind the chair as well as <laughs> beautifying people. I found myself to oh, to this this is my this, this was my way of escape. Amazing. Getting away from, you know, what people told me. Sometimes I help change people's lives by just making them look good. But yeah. overall, sometimes you need to grab back and hold something for yourself. And oh, let me show you a couple of oil paintings. Like I said, I always challenge wow. I always challenge myself doing Wow. Okay, and oil, Dorothy Dandridge or Holly Berry is Dorothy. Wow, Dandridge. that's um, that's wow. That, that's Diana Ross. And yeah. then the, 
And then this one, if you don't know her, then I don't know what I can wow. say. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Those are yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So I find myself doing the abstract as well. Abstract manipulation of colors. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah, you just play with colors and then you just get to playing with them with, on a spatula and there you go. So that's but what I'm you in your you say, you know, just to kind of give back to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You give back to yourself or take back a little piece of you because you're giving all this art away on right. people hair, people hairstyles or um God has granted me wisdom to help give advice to people and help fix mm -hmm. whatever dilemma they're going through but overall sometimes you need to clear your head space right and that's, how, that's how i clear my head space with a little acrylic or oil and um is that something you do every day um i could do it now every day during this okay. pandemic let me tell you i know the pandemic has been a stressful time as well mm -hmm. as unfortunate times for people but the pandemic has actually been a blessing for me because just imagine yourself for 20 something years driving out of your backyard, your driveway, going to work all the time. Then you come home at 930 at night. Now, this is when I get to play with this. Okay. You know, now it's, now it's time to turn in to get back to going back to work the next day. We, so you right, find move and and Lisa, they both say, Janet, Janet. <laughs> OK, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very right. much. <laughs> Yes, Philip, but oh, in the background. <laughs> well, I'm gonna finish this one. Uh, what's his name? Pac. <laughs> Tupac. And then I'm gonna put all his poetry and his words in the background of that painting. Uh, that's Lenny. That's Lenny before the uh, the big chop <laughs> when Lisa <laughs> chopped off his his, his locks. He's yeah. sexy yeah, with, with the locks, without the locks, uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Some people. Some people, yeah, some people just, hey, they just have it. Mm hmm Yeah, so, yeah. So, gave you, so, I mean, I, you know, I heard it, you know, there was a little bit in the beginning, like, hey, Philip, you know, this whole art thing, you know, not mm -hmm. so sure. And mm -hmm. then, like, okay, I can find another way to do my art and hair. Yes. And, and, and styling. So yeah. tell us about that, because I'm, a, because, folks, for uh -huh. those who may not know, when I was in L.A., I had hair. Mm -hmm. And you did my hair when I was in LA. You better believe it. Every time I would come in there, I wouldn't know. Lisa can attest to this. You always know what the heck. Um, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> I, I would trust my he head to you, uh -huh. and it's magic what you can do. So, how did you kind of you know feel that? Okay, I can I can take this art thing. You know, not yet. You know, like you said, you didn't necessarily say I'm going to go to school for it right off the bat, but you can put that into something you do. You know what I mean? How did that? Art has been expression in baseball. Right. That's how I do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even, I just like visual. So let's say mm -hmm. if I'm making dinner, I'm going to make it look as if it came out of a restaurant. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It will be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Yeah. Something that's offset. Oh, no, this is too runny. No, get some paper. Let's, let's pat this down. Nothing needs to be runny. Or if I'm taking a slice of, what is that? Uh, that strawberry cheese? No, cheesecake. Not cheesecake. What is it? That strawberry slice of pie from Marie Callender's. You find yourself, I will neatly set it on the plate. The plate has to be white or, you know, crystal clear. Yeah. That's, I mean, I'm into visual. And, yeah. So, no, my husband is on the line. We oh. might have to get, uh, the, show him that, that pop one. Oh. Yeah. He's going to yeah. that yeah, and on the and yeah, on the background, I mean, of course, all the words and all the stuff it would be, it would be jotted all across him. I still haven't given given him tattoos yet, so yeah, that that's that's to be announced. <laughs> so so yeah, so I just wanted him to see that. So the um, back to you know, like you said, expression, yes. you know. But I think it's also like cool, like you can take that, translate it to hair, and be free, right? Yeah. Be yeah. free. Press. And I'm a, and I'm imagining a lot of people were like me, and you know, um, trusted you with that artistic fr trust yeah. you currently with that you know artistic freedom, yeah. right? So, yeah. right. I mean, but how did you for yourself? Like, did you ever like not trust yourself? What is that? 
any of that look like? Or did you always kind of say, you know what, I trust in this journey and I trust that I'm going to, you know, everybody's saying here, you're a true Renaissance man. You're going to make it happen. Were there any times where you were like, I don't, I'm not sure how this is, you know, going to play out. Were there any of those moments? No, you know, it's a trip. Honestly, I, I could say no. Um, I honestly, when you put your mindset to something and just focus on doing it, you mm -hmm. can complete that mission. It, it may be some people that, you know, throw darts or whatever, mm -hmm. kind of trip you, but overall you'll get there. You'll get there. Everything that I set out to do, I end up doing pretty much. I said, I want, okay. Like I said, doing hair, I worked at one of the best salons and I said, I want to be so assured of mastering haircut and hair coloring. If Michael Jackson walked in the door, I would be satisfied or confident enough to take care of him. But guess what? Michael Jackson had his own stylist, but yet had he been, I would have been confident or comfortable enough. But guess mm -hmm. what? People like Tyra Banks, people like Vesta Williams. I was blessed enough to even work on a janitor at the MT, no, v, VH1 Awards okay. um, um, years ago. And basically your confidence level, you just build up your confidence mm -hmm. level. I'm always taking classes in something. Sometimes people feel that they learn enough. No, when you ah. stop learning, you you stop growing. Yeah. Or if you think if or if you think you know everything, then guess what? You can't receive or retain or yeah, learn new things. No. Well, you can't you can't grow, right? You can't grow. You can't grow. There's you always can't. there's always room for growth. During this, like I said, during this pandemic. It ended up becoming a blessing. Like I said, backing out of the driveway, going to work, coming back home at 9 30, 10 o'clock, because I probably had 15 or 20 people to do. Yeah. I, I had assistance though, but you always need help. My assistants would tell me or tell the client, just let him do what he needs to do. It comes out better that way. Yeah, that's what I said. That's what I was saying. Like, I know, I mean, I remember trusting you, being like, going in there and I probably, you know, talking through the whole thing, not knowing what's going on in the back, and then plot out. Yeah. Trip this, trip this out. I was looking at my, one of my old screens, and look what I ran across. That's ah, there I am. That with all that hair. Look mm. at all of that hair, and you gotta send me that picture. Oh, I absolutely will. Yeah. I had all that hair. Remember yeah. you said forever. There's another one. Yeah. So down your back. You you were going somewhere where we had to give you updo. So. Uh, <laughs> But when I think I was going to an event, I feel like I was going to a, what event? I don't know, some big event probably in Beverly Hills, I think. Because I was going to dress up formal, right? It was a formal yeah. event. Yes, yes. You were going somewhere um, where, where you needed to sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, you made me sparkle. <laughs> That's so funny. You brought it way back. Yep, back in the day. Yes. What? Um, you know, what advice would you give someone maybe who, you know, you, again, you blended this um, artistry with your, you know, current, what, what you do currently, but you still have this give back to yourself. I like that saying that you got to give back to yourself and you got to make, take time for your, you know, take back your time for yourself. I like that saying. But what advice would you give someone who's maybe like thinking like this, you know, maybe this art thing, is it for me? Can I do it? How can I blend it into something that I'm, you know, that I also like? Is there any sort of advice you would give to someone who, you know, they may have the same thing, right? They may have parents say this art thing is, you know, I, I don't know. You got to go to school and get this and that because you've turned out turned it to be, you know, your it's it's your it's your everything. You know, what your your studio is your baby. It really is. Sometimes people will crush your dreams because basically, like I said, when I got out of high school, they were like, no, artists only make money. Yeah. They only make money when they're dead, six feet under. I'm like, uh, I'm up above ground, so I need to figure it out. And yeah. I figured it out. I express my art through hair. I express my art. I've taken fashion design courses. Um, uh, uh, shucks. Uh, create t-shirt lines. Uh, you know, put your artwork on there. Cause there's, a, there's a lot of different avenues where you can go now. Uh, right now, I'm trying to find a place that I could put my artwork on China you know, dinnerware. Mm. Uh huh. That's yeah. what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you, what's one thing you'd still like to do? Um, is it Peacock Balloons, Phil? I'm so proud of you, Heart Tish. Oh, Peacock Balloons is a friend of mine. She creates these beautiful balloons. Yes, yes. I got 
cage of balloons. Yeah, she just she just gave them to me. Well, not well, they were a gift. They were given to me on my fiftieth birthday. Mm -hmm. I'll have to, I'll have to see them when we're finished. Yeah. Um. I forgot what was that question? What was that question? And then you can't party. So I just popped the bottle in here. <laughs> I'm like, I just asked you a question. I was so like so proud. And she was like so proud of you, and I was like, well, what did I say? Um, I'm gonna ask you about advice regarding and art that a person can go through. What's the next thing? The next thing. That's what it was. What would you like to do? What would you still like to do? Next thing. Let's see. The next thing is pretty much. Well, there's a couple of next things. This mine don't turn off. This mine. Oh god. Oh gosh. This mine don't turn off. Um, I'm gonna write a book regarding okay. my my simply raw years, <laughs> and, and it, it will intertwine with different clients and different things. Yeah, it may be it may be hopefully a screenplay. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. What else? Uh, continue working on the back line that mm -hmm. I sketched and conjured up. But overall, let's say long term goals. It's a trip. I put my mind to doing something. Like I said. The pandemic ended up becoming a blessing because I ended up creating clients. They couldn't get their hair done for three months. So I started making wigs in this bad boy. I said, just meet me, meet me on the driveway, Zelle or Cash App you or Ben my cash, and, and it's all good. Yeah. You should have said, you, called, you should, have, should have called it your runway. Not your right. driveway. You said, meet me on the runway. Lisa wants you to talk about the YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. The YouTube channel. Okay, I said to myself, usually I would be in the salon and people would ask me questions regarding what is the best thing to wear to a destination wedding? I'm like, uh, where are you going? That, that's where it depends upon where you're mm -hmm. going. Uh, or what's the best wine? Or what's the best red um, wine? You know, and I, end, I, I like that kind of stuff. Um, different Cohibas, what's the smoke? Or why? Why is it, it, why is it chilled on ice? I'm just, I'm just inquisitive about that. So I'm creating a YouTube channel regarding those things. Lifestyle, renaissance man that I am, why not, you know, hey, let me show you. We're about to go in this Cohiba bar and, and go. Oh, hey, we're about to go in this tequila bar. Or oh, hey, <laughs> this restaurant. And what prompt them or inspired them pretty much almost become someone like you. And, <laughs> An interviewer, uh, mm -hmm. interviewing people, what moved them? Uh huh. And then, on, of course, on my channel, I'm going to show you three different levels of uh, highlighting or or the, the fantastic Bob or how to sleep on your hair while you're away on a trip. Yeah. I think those things are so useful because I was just thinking, like, I mean, I'm sure there's way more advanced people than myself, but like, I would listen to it because I need to know, you know, just different things. Like, for instance, like right now, I'm like, okay. We talked about this. I kind of want to color my hair, but should I, you know, cut it cut it to the point of, you know, like I normally buzz cut it and then color it, or should I color it this length, or what should I, you know, like those are the things like what should I do or what color would look good on me, right? Because now I I don't know if I have any sun on my face, but you know, in the winter I don't know about the color in the winter versus the color in the summer versus the, you know, so your your YouTube channel would help somebody like me like figure out what the heck because I'm always asking what the heck about yeah, those you know? yeah. or like what I wear so should I wear long earrings if I'm going to this event or should I wear these little studs or you know what color should I should the earrings be if I'm wearing this and that and the other and my hair is this that and the other so I think those things would be that would be a, a great way for people to kind of learn and you just go on your YouTube channel and say when when would he, when did he discuss this right let me just look at the topic and and listen to you talk. At this, what you're saying is needed, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I aspire to do next. Yeah, there's a lot of times that people don't know, like to say etiquette wise. You know, when you're going to a dinner party at someone's house, it is very fashionable to bring something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if they don't drink wine, how about a coffee table book? Mm -hmm. Oh, that they can read or a candle. You know, there's some things that people just don't know. You don't come from, well, let me say, I came from a house where pretty much I grew up in a house with Donna Ross slash Claire Huxtable. And <laughs> so basically, get your arms off, get your elbows and your arms off the table. Right. Tiny. 
um, took place in the house, you know, oh gosh, it, it, it was a blessing. It, I loved it. I love it. So that's how I ended up knowing. Yeah, I think that would be a great, a great, uh, Lisa, thank you for reminding him and us. Thank <laughs> Lisa. And then Karen says, yes, Simply Raw. That's, that's, um, that's, a, that's oh yes, that's a friend of mine. Yes. We were a family there. I was a kid when I first started. I wasn't even legal. They were passing El Cholo tequila shots for me when we were at, when we went out to dinner. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, that sounds fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was, they were a family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We should have had some of those on today's show. I think I'm going to start, you know, telling people they I didn't have a Coke Zero today, but we could have had a shot. I'm over here hydrating with this ice water right now because it's hot. Yeah. It's it, I know, I know I should have a water too. I was like, oh, it is so hot. So what are some final, um, you know, final thoughts you give to us with just regards to anything else you want to tell us about? Like, you, you know, you've kind of talked about you transitioned, you have your own thing now. What is that? You know, you kind of talked about some next steps. Any final thoughts for people who, like I said, maybe want to jump in the, the hair world, the artist world, or just kind of jump in their own world? And... There's, there's times where you have um, talent. You have to hone your skills and better yourself. That's why I went to Simply Raw to intensify or mold me to a better person. You may have that. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You need, to, you, need to you need to become an understudy for someone, an apprentice. You know, you need to assist someone, you know, get the ropes. You know, heck, if I model tomorrow, yeah, I could go and buy a McDonald's, but I need, I need uh, yeah. you know, that education behind me. Otherwise, it won't function right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to be able to grow. And I think you, I think what you're saying is, you know, you're constant. You are personally, and and we have to be, you know, constantly learning, right? Yeah. And the development of, you know, hair, our YouTube channel, the different things that you're, you know, the book, um, you know, the different things that you're consistently in motion. And I think that's one thing I think about for myself, too, is uh, that you've kind of reminded me to stay in, in motion, right? You don't need to stay. And you also, what I also took from this conversation is, okay, cool. you can be in motion, but you also need to take time and give back to yourself, right? You need to set this little um, aside, time aside. You've given to someone or something or whatever all day. And what does that look like to give back to yourself, whether it's painting, working out, whatever it is. Um, you know, to continually make sure, making sure you're taking that time to, to give back to yourself. Because your paintings are amazing. And I'm, I'm assuming they just are almost therapeutic for you, you know? I, in, in a regard, like, you, you just said something real important. Um, taking back your time, I said it as well, taking back your time because your time will be exhausted. People will pull on you. Like I said, mm -hmm. about 15 to 20 people a day and you'll be burned out. But I did make it happen. I did still have a life. I would leave the job and go to House of Blues and party all night. But um, of course, I'm not doing that anymore. So you, so you, you, you have to have find a balance. People say, "Why you work out all the time?" I work out so I can eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, well, I work out so I can eat what I want. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not working out ready for some high school reunion or some family reunion. I just work out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great advice back to yourself, Cornell Hill. Thank you. Oh, that's um, <laughs> Lisa's telling some sort of secret. She says something about cocktails after leaving your chair. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, a lot of times. Hello, Mar Marley says, Me too. I'm a foodie. <laughs> she said, Cocktails after leaving your chair, Lisa. What are you talking about, girl? <laughs> well, there's been times where Lisa and I, we have gone to the Grove. Yes, you're whipped up. Let's go have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> you look amazing. Let's have a drink. Go have to eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I ask you the final question. Uh, same question I asked her. So you should be prepared for this one. So I tell people all the time, remember, for those of you who don't know, I'm, the, you know, I have the cat, my cat, and saving all the cats. And they always say cats are curious. So this is the same question I asked Lisa. What is something maybe in your space or even outside of your space of art and hair that you are curious about? Anything you're curious about? I'm curious about. Uh, I love That's great. 
curious about would probably be it's a trip. I used to want I was intrigued with real estate. We used to grow up playing all the time. So I wanted to buy buildings and go in there and renovate them. Um but right now, LA, it costs too much money to purchase anything right now. Yeah. So I may have to explore and go to Palm Springs and do something. Purchasing, let's say a fourplex and just just what what they used to say, pimp the house out or pimp my yeah. house. Yeah. I would like to do something like that. Mm -hmm. Because okay. Yeah, or set design, set design. Ah, okay. Uh, go to Hollywood and do some set design. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you got a local one and a one you have to travel to. The set design could be local, and the you know real estate and, and your other second destination can be in Palm Springs. Uh, yeah, I want somewhere. You know, it, it shucks. It costs shucks out here right now in L.A. Everything starts in the sevens, and, and, and it, they have the nerve. Oh, sevens. I'm like, are you kidding me? So um, it's it's not reachable right now, but it's reachable, mm -hmm. you know, dirt or somewhere. So. Yeah. And you can, like you said, like a second home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we can go there too. So I'm cool. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> Being beat out while I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. But while we're there, no. <laughs> me, you, Lisa, I'm just going to invite all, you know, people, Cornell, yeah. Um, yeah. whoever. <laughs> Um, peacock balloons. Yes. I invite all these people on here. Yeah. Well, well my dear, it is 802. So yeah. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, for those who are listening, this is um, the show. I started the Tear and Lamp show. I started the show during the pandemic just as a way to interview everyday people with amazing stories and to share some positivity, to share some love. Philip is episode number 55. So I've been keeping this going strong for a full year, a little over a year. Um, I, everyone that's on here today, I would love to have you on the show. Please make sure you get in contact with me. And I, I would love to have you on the show just to share your story. Everyone has a story. So this is the premise of the show is just to interview everyone for their story. And everyone can learn from everyone else's story. So again, Philip, thank you so much. I'm going to call you in just a second. This is the Taryn Lamp Show, episode number 55. And I'll see you guys next week. Be good to yourself. Bye-bye.